Okay, I feel like I have a word from Yahua, and I want to, before I get into this word, I want to explain uh, this picture, because this picture is part of the prophecy. Um, the point of this picture is Jesus pointing up, and um, the Hebrew name Yahua could also be a name for Yahweh. And we've learned that Yahuwah and Yahweh is part of the Tetragranatom, um, the god of creation, the, um, the god of four, Borbello, um, the god of creation. And Yahuwah also can mean Lord, you know, it means uh, the Lord, the god of, you know, the Lord of creation from the immortal age of Barbello. Um, so I think this prophecy of Jesus pointing up is that um, this goes beyond uh, Yahuwah. I mean, even though they are one, but this goes beyond the God of creation Perhaps this come it comes from above. Perhaps it comes from the Father. Um, I don't know if you can get my gist. So, um, you know that he's coming in the clouds. Um, the word I felt I was giving is in Micah, chapter three, verses eight through twelve. But there are some partialities in some of the verses. Not every word is included. Okay, so we're at the in the middle of verse 8. And I will write it out in the description box below. Might, to declare unto Jacob his transgression and to Yasharel his sin. Hear this, I pray you, ye heads of the house of Jacob and princes of the house of Yasharel, that abhor judgment and pervert equity. They build up Zion with blood and Jerusalem with iniquity. The heads thereof judge for reward and the priests thereof teach for hire and the prophets thereof divine for money. Yet they lean up, yet will they lean upon Yahuwah and say, is not Yahuwah among us? Now, the rest of the verse says, None evil shall come upon us, but that's not part of the prophecy. Therefore shall Zion for your sake be plowed as a field, and Jerusalem shall become heaps, and the mountain of the house as the high places of the forest. And I really feel the might of the Lord, which is the first word of the prophecy. Thank you for tuning in. Um... Thank you for tuning in. Another part of the word, Ezekiel 25, 17. And I will execute great vengeance upon them with furious rebukes. And they shall know that I am the Lord. When I shall lay my vengeance upon them. And the last of this word is a commandment from God. He's saying here. Pay heed to this prophecy with the number six right here. Here. With the number six.